We are back at it again with another episode in our series, Spoiling a Man. And guess what? I know you guys see some difference here. We are here live with tonight's episode in the great Felisa Janae Production Studio. I get a chance to do this in person. <laughs> Florida meets Mississippi, got okay, We here, y'all. <laughs> Building. Deborah, so good to see you. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be great. I'm I so happy y'all said let's do this here. Yes, yes. we've been looking forward to doing this. Yes. I mean, really, this is our first time. So you guys, you know, help us work through whatever we glitches there may be, but we're not calling on any. And hey, if you are new to D Infusion TV, new to the Felisa and Deborah podcast. Please, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we are here every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central. Like, share, subscribe. Like, okay, share, subscribe. Okay. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> now, if y'all didn't get that, I, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, y'all. Hey, we are here. Ready to make it do what it do, baby. You want to talk about it some more, Lisa? Oh, I'm so glad you're here, girl. Come on, let's jump into this thing. Okay. okay let's, let's do this. Do let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're going to pick up with our questions. And you guys know we love your feedback. We just absolutely love your feedback. You know, give your opinion. There is no judgment here. And we're going to jump into it. First question, Lisa. What are some of the signs that your man is unfulfilled? What are some of the signs that your man <laughs> is unfulfilled? Let me explain it to y'all. Meaning not getting enough of something. You ain't doing enough of something. Cause no okay. matter how much you do, he's still gonna say you ain't doing enough of something. So, okay. So that's a big word. Don't you think that's unfulfilled. Unfulfilled. You got to look at all the acronyms in it now, Deborah. Unfulfilled. Un what are some of the signs? What are some of the signs? What about um not coming directly home from work? Mm. Not just once or twice. It becomes a regular thing. Do you think that's a sign, Lisa? That's a sign. What work what could he be what could he be doing? He well, you know, a lot of them go to the gym after work. Okay. A lot of them go to the gym before work. Okay. They might have to stop by the store, pick up a bill. I did. I did. I said store, not store. Okay. I'm a Mississippi. <laughs> dude. They may have to stop by the store and pick up a twelve pack. Okay. May have to get a little something, something on the side. You know, I, I don't mean another woman on the side, man. Nah, nah, don't y'all mm -hmm. don't be doing mm -hmm. all that right now. Mm -hmm. We ain't ready to go there yet. No, we ain't ready to go there just yet. Too early. <laughs> on, but you know that might be some of the things you know that they're not feel, feeling like that they are not fulfilled because no matter what a woman does mm -hmm. you know we as women mm -hmm. we can do a lot for our man and it just sometimes it just feel like we're not doing enough right. and then if we ask them what is it that we're not doing what is it mm -hmm. you want me to do what do you want me to do more of or what uh -huh. how can i make it better you know talk to me let's communicate and then nine times out of ten most men say no shade to the men out here but nine times, I, no, no shame to the men out here. But nine times out of ten, the man was the man will say, mm -hmm. "You just, I mean, just, just do whatever." That's still not an answer. That's, that's kind of like sweeping on the road. That right. word, that word uh, right there, un, uh, uh, it said un, un fulfilled. Yes, that word said un fulfilled. And you, know, I think now this is why I even brought that up, Lisa. Okay. Now, if your partner. Is not coming straight home for work. And like Lisa said, they may want to go to the gym or whatever, go hang out with the, with the fellas, grab a beer or whatever, go see the moms, whatever the case may be. But like the the key word here is if it's constant, they're doing it all the time. If that to me, that is someone who's avoid avoiding coming home. There's okay. something that they don't want to get home to. Now I've had that happen to me now. Oh, you know, once upon, a, once upon a time in a lifetime, not long ago, uh, <laughs> that, that that little thing right there, what you just said, happened to me. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, he 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 didn't want to come home after work, and then he said every time he came home, you know, he got jitters in his stomach because he thought we were gonna be fussing the fight. But good, oh. you know, there was there one of them, you know, them drive by relationship dating thing. You know, you know, I was trying to <laughs> experiment. You know, they don't make men like they like they used to. Like they used to like they used to. Like used to. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it got kind of, you know, in about three, course of three years, yeah, it got kind of, you know, yeah, we didn't want to be around each other. Mm -hmm. But I think that's a good sign, though. If he's not coming straight home and it's something that he's kind of making a habit out of, it's maybe something you want to look into, right? You want to check into it. So, uh, what other, what are some other signs that you can think of? Not coming straight home. It's a heap of. Uh, what about avoiding intimacy, you think? 
Do you think men are born into the sea? Wait, man. Uh, 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 y'all, help us out. Help us out with this. Do men avoid intimacy? Because, girl, what man avoid intimacy? What man avoids a woman? <laughs> what man? I'm going to go ahead and say this. Okay, go ahead. You're right. pretty happy. <laughs> you so pretty, girl. Oh, thank you. Lisa. You are so pretty. <laughs> She's so pretty, y'all. <laughs> thank you, Lisa. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. And it may sound a little, little, little let good. Me pull my, let me, just a little bit. Let me, let me, let me pull my alpha. Let's up. say okay. you you have a man, okay, and your man likes his his space to be clean. He wants it likes oh, his oh, house yeah. to be clean. Likes his woman to be presentable. Does make make themselves desirable. And if those are turnoffs to that man, Lisa, do you think he'll want to be intimate with you? If you're looking, walking around here looking undesirable, I'll wait for uh, Yeah, that, yeah, they are. Yes, you are right about that since you put it in that <laughs> perspective. Uh -huh. You put it in that lingo. But you know, a lot of men, they like that early in the morning, that, that, that no take a bath, no brush teeth, no wash face type thing. Am I lying? Y'all know, y'all know, come on there and talk to us. Because y'all know now, when sometimes y'all come in, when they come in, they tired. They ain't got time for all that by the time you want to take a bath, shower and everything. How far can I go? They rounds is gone. What? <laughs> they ain't they they ain't, they ain't in that special place. That, that special space no more. And 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 you know sometimes you gotta get in when you fit in. Lisa. Now y'all, I don't want to get too deep because I don't want to get in trouble. What y'all think? Come on, yeah, Lisa, because of your feedback. Yeah, because you, you know, mo most men now, they, they do like a clean woman, yeah, a clean house, clean, house. clean cook. Yeah. I'm coming with Big Daddy right now. And, <laughs> and, 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 you know, most men do, okay? But now, most women are quicker to say, oh, baby, let me go freshen up. Let me go. Facebook, yeah, I see y'all. Y'all hear me. Y'all hear me. <laughs> most women say, right. let me go freshen up. Let me brush my teeth, wash my face. Let me do, baby, let me hit all the hot spots. The whole wash has some Ooh, Can mm. I say that? The, the, whole wash, the whole wash. The whole bath. You know, you know the, hot, the hot spot. But a man, the only time I think a man would go ahead and jump to that, he read right now. Like, mm -hmm. He ain't trying to wait. What he wait for? He know you here. That, that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you I'm gonna drink the water. I don't know what that water. <laughs> 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 Last week she was talking about picking boogers. I know. Nah, we got all the last week. Now y'all, y'all weren't ready for the cleaning of the ears and and uh -oh, so the Toronto, Toronto was ready. Toronto, Toronto was on your side. Oh, excuse me. And, Toronto and, was with you, baby. So you look, we're adults on this on the, on this podcast. Our listeners are of age. And hey, if you are new to this podcast, like, well, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, and well. Right. And we're just two country girls talking. Yes. If we're gonna share two life events, things that really do happen. Oh, y'all would have wanted to just not <laughs> woman who is always looking undesirable. So he will feel unfulfilled and don't want to be intimate with you. And if he does not want to be intimate with you, as Lisa was alluding to, he's gonna find somebody to be intimate with. She throwing any new big words on me, y'all. <laughs> Eluding. <laughs> As Lisa was hinting at. I got it. Caught on quick. <laughs> y'all, right, you, you, you right there. You make a valid point. Because oh, okay. you okay. know what? I almost misjudged you last week about, yes, about the toenails and the. the, the <laughs> at least give me the, everything. The, 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 the clean I did. But you know, when I went back and watched the, the, mm -hmm. the, 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 um, the segment, it, yeah, you was absolutely right. I said, hmm, everybody, yeah, how clean the daddy is. What is gross about some earwax? Hmm. It is one of God. I'll do it. <laughs> all I gotta say is y'all would not elaborate. But I, I, I'm telling y'all this this Wednesday, I will do it. But last Wednesday, I was like, hell no. But get that <laughs> you on your own. Think about it. Yep. Okay. So, hey guys, if you are in the chat, give us an opportunity. Look, we want to hear your see your uh, feedback. But oh, we are missing you guys. So sorry. Hey, Miss Burke. Hey! Over. Oh Lord, hey y'all. Oh, that goes. Tim said, Oh Lord, hey. <laughs> oh. Hey, Miss Burke, hey girl, hey. Hey, Miss Burke, hey girl, hey. Hey, Miss Burke, hey girl, hey. Hey, Miss Burke, hey girl, hey.
Hey, cuz Courtney, thank you for joining. And, and Miss Birch, don't worry, I'll be in your neck of the woods tomorrow, baby. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, we are yes. here live, full of fat. We, <laughs> we met doing our podcast and DM Fusion here together tonight. Okay. Look at God. It happened <laughs> in the building. In the building. All right, now we need y'all's feedback because me and Lisa, we can go on and on. Okay, now somebody say something. Uh, Courtney, uh, uh, -huh. uh, right here. Intimacy, okay, see? Okay. See, intimacy, intimacy and sex are different. Eels. That's true. Uh, Courtney, hey, uh, hey, girl. Hey, welcome <laughs> to the show. Welcome, welcome. You are absolutely right. Intimacy and sex is different. Intimacy, but doesn't it, the, what, I think it's more of a category. Category, subcategory, because sex should fall under intimacy. It's a form of intimacy. So let's let's try to. Well, y'all may have to educate me a little bit on this tonight. <laughs> so what what are we having? Sex or intimacy? <laughs> what, what what are we doing? We're just we're saying that you need to look desirable for your mate. Okay. Whether you want to sit there and cuddle, watch a movie, hold hands, take a walk on the beach, you need to look desirable. That's all I'm saying. It ain't gotta get between the sheets. What they are, what, what they say, look behind door number one. <laughs> we get the job done. <laughs> look behind door number two. Okay. Something waiting, special waiting for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, what did Miss Cassandra say? Hey, girl, hey. What she say? Sometimes a quickie is needed. Girl, ooh, you better stop. Ooh, did I say that now, Ella? Yes, you did. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, you know, all the time. It ain't got to be neat and tidy, you know. That's true. You know, but uh, ain't too many men turning it down either way it go. Fresh or unfresh, tamed or untamed. Now, I got a serious question I want to ask you. You sitting right here looking at my face with your pretty self, got your glasses on. <laughs> you are, you right you right here in the flesh. I can't roll. Uh, no. Uh, and that's a sex question. Can I ask it, Mr. Producer? Y'all, can, can I ask this question? Now, y'all say we're what y'all want. Uh, it's, 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 it's out there. Okay. Ain't no kids watching. We ain't professional. We just here by trade because this what we do. <laughs> now, what if you want a special favor and, you know, one of us ain't neat and tidy and they want their special attention? <clears throat> well, I had to ask because we talking about it. <laughs> they got you looking at Marcus. <laughs> What Leah said. <laughs> 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 y'all, y'all cutting up tonight. Y'all, that's, that's all devil. So it's now she paying the hot in here. That's all devil. And I got no. the fan on. That's all devil. Uh, uh, Deborah, no. you, you read what, no. court, what, what Courtney said. Hey, Courtney. <laughs> What do you say, Lisa? Courtney said, gotta be fresh. <laughs> now, Courtney. Okay, now I'm gonna ask another. Can I ask another ball for a question? Now, Courtney, on that note right there, because everybody else is scared. To, hey, let me get a little closer to you, Courtney. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. I probably shouldn't ask that. Okay. I, I probably should I probably shouldn't ask that. Uh Courtney, time or no time? Because I've heard men say different things. You know, tame or no tame. Because all this is part of the intimacy, the mm -hmm. sex, the quickie, the freshness, all of the... Yeah, it, it, some, anybody can answer, but, you know, since Courtney said, it got to be fresh, I'm asking Courtney a question back. He said, come on. I just did. Tame or no tame? Oh, you... Oh, she done dipped down another level, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Producer, am I in trouble? <laughs> You got an 
Am I in trouble? <laughs> time! Call me say time! I love you. Question number two. <laughs> We're going to move on because y'all are cutting up. All I, all I got to say is, I just looked over there at that door. The hell I ain't pulled that, that thing down. <laughs> <laughs> I should have pulled that thing down. That black and white zebra uh, curtain hanging up there. <laughs> y'all, come on. Come on. Come on, on. on number, two. number two. Come on, Deborah. I did number one. What are some of the things you wouldn't do, do if you're dating and not married? Oh, okay. I'm gonna let no somebody, special thing. I'm gonna let somebody else answer. I ain't gonna be quick to jump on this. I'm gonna let somebody else answer because I, 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 I have a tendency to get long winded. So I'm gonna sit back on this. Okay, one. you're dating and not married. Does it matter how long you've been dating? Does it to give so, up to do a special spe a special favor? Does it matter? And we don't want to hit this bull crap. Well, if I do you, you do me. Lies you tell. I ain't asked you to. I told you not to. You did it on your own. You got drunk and did it on your own. <laughs> I don't drink. <laughs> and I ain't gonna try to stop you, you know, cause they say when well, you hungry, you know, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you know you eat. But I'm gonna let somebody else answer. Well, I think this Ms. question Burks? here. Okay, okay, let's see. Yeah, push it down. Yeah, teach me. Somebody now. may have answered. Did you guys know no one has answered? You at least someone to take a step in. Oh, limited favors while dating. Okay, what are some of those limited favors? Courtney. I Courtney, mean, you Welcome to the show, Courtney. <laughs> Thank you so much, DM Fusion TV. We love feedback. Yes, but well, you are welcome. No one here is being judged. We are here each Wednesday, 6 Central, 7 Eastern Time. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Come on, talk to us, Courtney. Tell us what are some of those limited, limited things Favors. that a girlfriend should not do versus a wife. Too oh, long. Lord. Okay. Don't let you have that. No, nah, go on. Go on, I always got to leave you. Go on, baby. Go on. Come on, good guy. I saw my name first. Shit. <laughs> so he just don't never right call devil. Y'all always say it. He act like we married. And I don't even know who the hell he is. <laughs> okay, Tip. Lisa, this is Lisa, this is why grievers should have givers. Givers should have limitations because takers will never oh, have enough. Wow. Wisdom. Mm. So there. since you call my name tip over, are you trying to say it in a nice way? Mm. Should have limitations. Is that what you're trying to say? Tip over. Tip. Yeah. Talk to me, Tip. I get that though. I get that. You shouldn't go in full throttle. What do you think? After six months of dating, maybe? You think? Ease, ease into it. Ease into it. Yeah. Don't never give them everything up front because then you won't have nothing to give on the, you know, in the middle and the end. Well, y'all know last week we talked about all the things we would do to spoil your man. We talked about facials, manicures, pedicures. And this is just to give some context to like Courtney, who may not have joined us last week. Courtney said, I'm paying for all the days not to pay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Courtney. <laughs> Courtney, I'm from Mississippi. M I. S S I S S I P P I I I uh I'm with you on that one. You know I'm with you on that one. Are you paying for all the dates in the beginning? Are you saying you won't do no bill paying in the middle and in the end? Oh Lord, I took some of my braids out. You about to make me smell that on out. Courtney, you was on the road now. Yeah, he from the sip too, baby. That's my cousin. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Courtney. Oh, okay, you from, you, from, you from the sip too? Um, oh, well, you already know. Yeah. You know you can't. You know you can't come like that. Hmm. Cave deals are for married folk. Uh oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh. Now, what do you got to say for those women, baby? Who... We gotta go back up and get some of these comments we done left. Oh. I I seen some that we didn't touch. Let's see. I think we left a tip because you you kind of shiest the tip because you didn't really give him much feedback. I don't think that's fair. Tip you need to give him. Get a feedback. Tip. Feedback. Mm -mm. She just trying to skip all over you. But Cassandra said, lots of restrictions. You don't get all the milk. Okay, you ain't gonna get all the you milk. You can't give them all the cow. Uh -uh. Not, not, not in the beginning. You ain't gonna have nothing left for the middle and the end. That's what I keep saying. And hey, Wanda. Hey, Wanda. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, cousin. Okay. Hey, Cassandra. Hey, Facebook Live, thank y'all so much for chiming in. Y'all just click the link below and just coming over here to YouTube. I'm going to say this every Tuesday and Wednesday, even though y'all don't still do not do it. But thank y'all so much yeah. for chiming in. I got my girl Deborah with me. We are live full in the back here tonight in the building. Baby. Y'all from Mississippi. We are doing podcast and DM Fusion right here in the building. Okay. Florida meets Mississippi. How about that? Hey, and we got a little gift for you guys tonight. We have a, a surprise coming for y'all, ladies. So hang around after the show. We got a show after the show tonight. It's the only way we do it on DM Fusion TV. We love y'all. And hey, we we got an opportunity tonight for you to show your beautiful faces. There is a link in the chat where you can actually come on and go live. Show your beautiful face and receive some of that awesome feedback. Don't be shy. Tonight, we do not have the phone for you to call in, but you can join us live. So check join out the live, link. Oh, let's, okay, let's, let's keep up on these. Uh, pain bills are for married folks. We talked about that. Cassandra said, no, if you are dating Courtney, you got somebody who, who feels different about your comment now. Cassandra said, if you are dating me, bills will be paid. What you got to say about this? Tommy Owen said, yeah. What's going on, Tommy? How you doing? Welcome to the Infusion Podcast right here where we are live, baby. Welcome to our show. Welcome, welcome. Oh, well, that dog going to bring police and be talking. <laughs> Look, we got some hot questions tonight and some hot answers coming in. Courtney said he going live. So I guess he got an answer for you, Miss Cassandra. Hold on, let me fix my hair. Call paying bill for married folk. <laughs> okay. Tim Bobber says, first date, we going on an infamous coffee date. <laughs> Tim <laughs> said, you did this, this for you, Tim. <laughs> this this for you. Water. Tim said his first date ain't gonna cost him no more than ten dollars. I'm gonna take him to Starbucks. Cup of coffee in the biscuit. I'm gonna take them Starbucks. And I'm gonna, Starbucks. I'm gonna order a whole meal. You know that damn coffee hat. I'm gonna order a sandwich and some cakes. They got they got the little funnel to do cakes. I'm gonna order all kinds of stuff just because you said the first date is gonna be infamous. <laughs> ain't nothing infamous about me. But you know you ain't talking about me, right, Tim? I got to be good. <laughs> Don't start. I ain't gonna start. I ain't gonna start. Go, on, baby. By the way, go. On. Yeah, some some Kasara said Chip is cool going on a coffee date. Okay, so but Kasara, you kind of came off as expensive. Now you saying it's okay to do a coffee date? Cause you talking about you pay, you gotta pay bills, mortgages. And I'm, all with that. I'm with Kasara. Kasara, you gonna be talking about after date for at least two years? Uh, like, I'm, with like I'm with Kasara because let me tell you something. You already know we everybody grown in here. They already want the cookie. Before they can mortgage the car notes, though, not they, buy some water. Like they, 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 they gonna want it on the first date. Hang around me too long. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. You said we grown. I would say what I want. <laughs> Hang around me too damn High long. High expectations. You gonna be buying cars? <laughs> I bought myself a Honda. Well, you know what? But you'll be buying Mercedes and Lamborghinis. And y'all gonna be doing a lot of favors, special favors. Get ready, knee saver. <laughs> Hey, baby, <laughs> you gonna be doing a lot of things with the, the cash in on the mortgages, like like brother man said before me say you doing a good job. You just didn't look it up at me for. Never said them knees gonna be. Okay. Y'all, let, let's get it. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Because the, look, these comments coming in hot. And I don't even know what my glasses say. I think they are. I got you. I got you. Uh, so Tommy said, I'm. Baby, we done missed so many Tommy. comments up there. <laughs> we, actually, we, actually, we actually done got them. Oh, see? 
first date going is going to be That's infamous, and then we talk about Thomas said yes. So, Chris, you talking about the two? Oh, okay. look, look what Thomas said. Thomas said I'm shy. Me too. I'm shy too, Tommy. Tommy, we would like to know where you're from and how old are you? Yeah. You know, since you're chiming in for the first time, thank you so much for chiming in on DM Fusion TV. We are here live. So we would just like to know where you're from. And um, yeah, since mm -hmm. first you said yes, now you're saying you're shy. You're giving me a little Michael Jackson and Prince vibes here. What's going on with, with you, Tommy? Don't be shy. Hey, we do is not it, judge you. Is it Krispy Kremes or is it Dunkin' Donuts? Which one? Talk to him, Devin. Which one? Hey, it's your choice. We you don't judge over here. You can have both of them. Krispy Kreme and the Dunkin'. There you go. With a side of coffee. There you go. Because Tip Over going to take anybody he meet. <laughs> Just this <laughs> damn coffee. <laughs> but let me tell y'all some trick to that. Take his ass to, uh, to uh, Starbucks because they have sandwiches, cakes, <laughs> water. They had them little cup they sell for $20, but they, 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 they I wouldn't pay that for them. But Tip, tip Over, you know, Starbucks can be Okay, Mr. Producer, we have someone trying to go live. Mr. Uh, Sergeant said so he's trying to join live. Is that Courtney? Yes. Uh oh, I'm about to see Courtney. So try you click uh, click on the link again, and let us try to connect you. We definitely want you to join us. Oh gosh. Yes, click on the link again. Courtney please. is about to read me my rights. I believe so, cause he on fire. He Courtney is on let me, fire. Let me sit up and get closer to Deborah. <laughs> Be brace for this. One. Okay, we right here on this tip. Them. Okay, tip. Tip say first date. I don't know if you heard what the ten twenty dollars at the max. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so you mean tell me I got to beat my face and look like glammed and mm -hmm. put on my nice clothes, my mm -hmm. cute fit or jogging suit or whatever to come and meet you for some coffee. And all you're going to spend is between 10 and $20 tip. That's what he said. And he ain't leaving no tip. Okay. I'm he coming with the I'm said. coming with the do-rag on, the bunny, <laughs> the high slippers, <laughs> the pajamas. I see all them gals walking around in Walmart in. That's how I'm going to be looking. Oh, no, no. You've already seen me look like I look. So I can meet you at the coffee house dressed like that now. So don't the play, uh -huh. don't play, don't play with me tip. Okay, well, tip said... Oh, that's what I'm talking about, Miss Cassandra Cox. Your husband's a lucky man. That was that was that coming up above that tip that I missed. Mm. Mm hmm. That one's for you, Miss. I don't want you to. Tommy Owen says, "Hello, I am interested in a position. You have a wonderful day." <laughs> you sent a special shout out to Mr. Tommy. Now, you ain't you looking like that? Say I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. What did I say? <laughs> DM Fusion, what did I say? Don't be shy. Courtney. Courtney! Hey, what's How up? How are you? Hi, Courtney. Good. How y'all doing? You turn up the okay, we gotta pause this one so we can turn up the volume. Okay. Oh now that sounds good. Hi, Courtney. Welcome hey, to the show. Up? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think we want to hear some elaboration on these, you know, the, the restrictions and you ain't paying <laughs> the mortgages. No, 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 no. We're not paying the bills. No, nah, we're just dating. No, nah, we, we don't pay the bills when we date. That's that's for married people. You know what I'm saying? When we, we sharing bills and we splitting things. No, nah, dating, I pay for all the dates. You never what, have to pull what, off where the you, where, you, where, you, where you from, Courtney? I'm from Mississippi. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna go on the record and say this, Courtney, while she's mulling over your response, right. which I agree with you, Courtney. Yes. I mean, yes. why? Why would you? Uh, I, I, I'm I'm gonna disagree with my podcast over here. I'm sorry. You ain't gonna do all that, y'all. Just dating? Why? Right. Exactly. Exactly. What are your so, what, Lisa? What are your expectations? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I was about to ask you something. <laughs> <laughs> so, Courtney, if we're just dating, air quotes, if we're just dating, can you, I need to make sure, can you look, can you see me, Courtney? I can, I I can see you very brain. well. <laughs> so, if we're just dating, and let's say we've been dating three to six months. Okay. Would you require or think we should move to phase two with sex? You, you know what? Um, 
I don't think stutter. You can't put no, no, no. I got you. I think you can't really put a time frame on that. Okay, it's really. I think it's that. based. It's based on the relationship. It's based on the maturity of the people. I'm glad you said that. So let's just say, if if we met, um, we're live. You and I. This is this is me and you. And let's just say if we met and we're together, we're grown. And let's just say second date, third date, we hit it off. The chemistry is there. It is yeah. what it is. So yeah. if if I turn you down from having sex, because you've already let it be known that you pay for dates, you don't pay bills, would I be wrong? Would that be your reasoning? Because I don't, I won't pay probably, your bills? Prob probably, you, I'm, I, because that's what we have right now. That's what that's what we are right now with this question. Okay, so do you tell me we're not having sex because you won't pay my bills? Probably. Because okay, that's yeah. what we no, are right now with this podcasting. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that's I don't think that's that's cool because I feel like it shouldn't be conditional. If it, mm. it like if we if we hit it Both off, relations, okay. If, if we hit it off and we really into each other, we dig in each other, mm -hmm. then I feel like that can be a natural progression, but it mm -hmm. shouldn't be conditional based on what I'm going to do for you or what I won't do okay. for you. Okay, so you will feed me and just give me all the food I want, all the attention, let's say intimacy, because sex doesn't, you know, you don't have to mix the two. You will give me all of that. I'm just saying this for all the people that's listening to us and yeah, watching yeah. us live right now. This is not for me per se. Sure. Because, yeah, if, yeah. you know, because my man Honestly speaking, and I'm going to say this with one, two, three, four, five cameras. If we're dating and if I'm acting like wifey or special woman or whatever and doing all the things that I'm doing, if this is what, you know, he and I have sat down and talked about and this is the agreement that we have, you know, come to, I'm going to expect for him to do more than just buy me something to eat because I can buy myself something to eat. So if that's all he's going to do for me, if we're dating, if that's the understanding we have, and if we decide to open Pandora's box. So for me, I will address that with you if you and I were dating now that I know who you are so I can have that understanding, not going into it with the expectations that, you know, mm -hmm. I know what I'm expecting from a man. A man know what he's expecting from me. So yeah. I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad you came in live and, and um, explained that. Uh, so I w I would ask what what would be the intention of the relationship too? Because some people date not to get married; they just date to you know. Like I said, like like I said, like I said, once we sit down and talk in the beginning, because it's three steps: it's the beginning, the middle, and the end. And if that's all that you would require of me, just to we, we're just gonna be dating or just hanging out, you know, somebody go to the game with, kick it with here and there, nothing serious. You my girl, you my dog. Yeah. I, you with another woman don't catch feelings you can see me with another man don't yeah. catch feelings then hell i'll go eat all the food you got but then yeah. once you start to cross that line and say oh i thought we was here and i thought we was there oh whoa, 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 we, we hold up bouquet. exclusivity whatever you just said <laughs> <laughs> yeah hell yeah i, I, I think okay, that means the same thing i'm thinking i think well, I, can, I got can, a lot of grieving going on in the okay, chat. okay. Yeah, he got a lot of grieving going on in the chat. Okay, I, 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 I agree with that. I agree with but you. I can if, see, there, if there's nothing there but that, I'm, yeah. I got you. Because I, I have also friend, agree with you too. I have, I have, huh? I said I also agree with you too because if we're in an okay. exclusive relationship and we've already right. discussed mm -hmm. and decided, you know what, we're not getting married. Either right. we've been there, done that, or don't want to do it. But we're in an exclusive relationship. You know, you my person, and we're gonna be together. Then you know what? I'll I'll pay a phone bill. You know what I'm saying? I'll pay. I get you do what you have done. to. You I'll... do what you feel like you need to do. Yeah, yeah, but it has because to be you're because you're on the it. other side, Courtney. I like you. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I listen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for calling in. You for know, sure. we, we we really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Right, we got welcome. a lot of different, you know, the comments, you guys. That was a great, great discussion. Like I said, we got men, you know, male and females, growing both of your, your perspectives. So. Appreciate you calling in because thank you. Continue to, to provide your feedback in the chat. Lashila, uh, Lashila, 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 Lashila Walters. Leticia Walters. Leticia Walters said, I, Leticia Walters said, I agree with you, Courtney. A man should not have to pay your bills. 
if he's dating you. I told my brothers the same thing. And Jeff Lee said, yes, yes. You are 304. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff said, you are using your tool as a commodity. Jeff just called me a hoe. <laughs> and I'm saying that right here. And guess what? That's I'll what he's saying. I'll give a two cents of you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Jeff, how you doing, babe? I ain't seen you. I ain't seen you in a minute. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> I ain't fooling with y'all tonight. Uh -uh, I ain't fooling with y'all tonight. We gonna sit here and call me a three or four ho. You know Jeff loves you. Don't do Jeff like that. Jeff, I know me and Jeff go. Me and Jeff, Jeff and I go way back. We go way back to uh, what was that? WDI. We go way back. Mm -hmm. Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. This can go from Memphis too. All right, we're going to jump back into some of these comments. Uh, Cassandra said, I love nice things. Coffee is fine for the first date. I'm, I'm sure this is for you, Tip. But that's the only coffee date, okay? You get, you're going to get one coffee date. So spend that $10 to $20 very well and get to know that woman as much as you can at Starbucks. Okay, and to add to that, Leah Nielsen. Hey, Leah, Leah, all I got to say is, you, you, my person, Leah Nissen said, Read them. You got your glass. I read it, but you read it. I don't want to call no words, but they ain't because I can't see. I read that though. All right, I got you, Leah Nielsen, right here. My man and I have been dating for a while, and we are partners in everything that is beautiful, Leah. Courtney, when I'm down, he's got me. When he's down, girl, Courtney, I got him. I love that. Courtney, I love that. For Courtney, you. <laughs> it's called I understand, <laughs> not 304. <laughs> hey Melvin Davis Melvin Davis says uh, okay Jeff Lee said Jacksonville Florida is here okay Mississippi all right, is here Florida, all right. um, Tommy said he's 40 let me just look over there and he's from Florida as well alright Tommy 40 years old and from Florida alright Chip got one for you okay no, God, he's no old, Chip. Chip, he's he's on a, a he said hell no to Starbucks too expensive you get in tea <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what, Tip? Don't even worry about that. And I love my hair. Thank you so much for timing into the DM Fusion um, TV podcast show. We, we we greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I love my hair. Thank yeah, you so I love it too. Thank you so I much. And please share, subscribe, and like, comment. Like, share, like. And Thank subscribe. you so much. Beautiful, beautiful. We are loving this. Hey guys, you can join us live as Courtney did. Jump on, show your beautiful face, and we would love to hear your feedback. Come on, y'all. We well. here. All right, thank you, Tommy, for subscribing. We got a new subscriber. All right, Kathleen Sims, she's new, right? I think so. It sounds like it. Hi, Kathleen. Welcome. Oh yeah, my my uh, look what she says. My first date, blah blah blah, was with my husband. Uh -huh. When I first met him, was on a basketball court. Okay, Kathleen. Interesting. Okay. You never know where you're gonna meet him. How you gonna meet him? Uh, you may start off dating. You may just jump up and get married. Some people elope. Some people mm -hmm. just run out and get, you know, do the quick wedding thing, chapel mm -hmm. thing. You just don't know. Sometimes sometimes you bypass dating all together. You just go straight into the marriage. So, hey, Courtney, I like your, I like the way you vibe, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to move on. Jeff Lee, he said, shame on you, Felice. I'm pretty sure they got something to do with that 304 comment. <laughs> I'm going to say, well, what is going on here? Oh, pretty sure. That's that's my boy. Right. That's my boy. All right, give us a minute because I have. All right, I would have wanted to be black. Tommy Owen says I'm a kid. Okay. All right, all right. Let's go back up to the top. Sorry about that, y'all. Y'all, thank y'all so much for chiming in. I got my girl oh. here. I got my girl here. We are here. Now. I got my girl here. And we appreciate you. We're doing this together tonight. This is something y'all haven't seen since we first got started. So y'all get a treat tonight. Actually, we have a surprise for y'all later on because after the show is the after party. Y'all get a chance to, we're going to get a little more serious. Y'all going to get a chance to hear y'all lady's story. So we can keep that. Y'all stay right there. We got you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Lisa, back to the comments or you want to move on to another question? No, go ahead with the comment back. All right, Chip said, ask her if she if she paying half and half on the on the coffee. Ask her if she paying half and half on the first day and second day, because I'm all for equal. We're gonna bypass that question like we did the person about my hair. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to, let, let, go back to the, why I keep moving the thing like this, the phone. 
Baby, how you operate? Where you want to go, Lisa? Back to the question. Got <laughs> tip over time. Now I got to pay half. Somebody got to pay half for the coffee. <laughs> Well, he hey, don't want... Missy Lane. Thank you for joining. Tip over don't want to pay for nothing. Hey, Lane. Thank you. All right. Lisa, we're going to move on to another question. So we're going to go ahead on to another question, y'all. All right. Now I have got to. Oh, girl. How you I do? just made it bigger. Oh, how you do that? That's some education for you right there. Honestly, is that the top of the chat? Uh uh. Tommy Owen says, I'm 40 years old and I'm from Florida. Okay. So you grown, grown. Because, you know, I did ask Tommy, mm -hmm. you know, where mm -hmm. he was from and how old he was. Okay, Tommy. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm 52 and I'm from Mississippi. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, we have standards. So as me, we should. All we, right. we got a lot of comments, Deborah. I know. We, 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 we trying, we try, y'all. We trying. They coming out. They, 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 when I say they coming out fast, they coming out fast. It's all good. It's all good. Are we just trying to get back to the questions there at the top? Okay. Here, I'm going to let you operate. Elaine Allison, laugh out loud, Lisa. Hey! Hey, Elaine! Appreciate <laughs> you joining. Like, share, and subscribe. It's honest. Y'all, 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 y'all know. Y'all know I'm just going to do me regardless. <laughs> y'all yeah. know I'm just going to do me regardless. We are here live full enough. Hey, I got my girl with me. Yeah, the question that kind of went off of that. That is fine. That is fine. Um, let me see. We already talked about two. Uh, Cassandra says, "Hey, Courtney." Um, uh, Kathleen. Uh, Cassandra. Courtney uh -huh. is Courtney is forty. He's forty. Courtney said he's forty. Um, we already read that one right mm -hmm. there. Jeb Lee mm -hmm. says, "Shame on Felicia." Well, <laughs> Tommy Owen says, stop, please stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, ben, I think this person is new. I'm assuming you're getting it somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. I think that's, that's when we were talking about being desirable and you yeah. know, maybe your partner not coming home because they're trying to avoid coming home. But we got another question that speaks to what if you're, how do you feel about your, your uh, significant other, your spouse or whatever? Bragging about being spoiled. How do you think that would impact the relationship? Somebody going, look, how about, now we already know how this can be when it comes to females bragging to other females about what their man do for them. Do you think that it kind of, you know, have the same effect if a man is bragging to his partner, his brother or whatever? A lot, a lot of men don't like to brag about mm -hmm. what they do for a woman. But women, you know, I'm kind of guilty of this. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we will, I will share some things like, you know, with my... But do men do that though? Do they? Not as, I don't, do y'all men, do y'all, do y'all do that? I don't think they do it as quick as we do. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're, they, I don't, I don't know, I have four brothers. I don't ever really hear them you know, I don't ever really hear my brothers. I don't ever really hear my brothers talk about what women do for them, like their birthday, Christmas, mm -hmm. Valentine's, special special occasion stuff. Yeah, but not just like what we've been talking about, spoiling our men randomly stuff like that. No, I I, I don't. But women, we do. Uh -huh. You know, like you could be at work, your your husband can bring you lunch just out the blue. That's mm -hmm. that's very mm -hmm. that's very special. So. I, I I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna lean towards saying I believe men do brag about what their their significant others doing for them to other partners to other men. and I think there are some men who can be just as trifling do. as women and try they to are. go after their woman. They are y'all are you think so? Y'all are yes. Yeah. Y'all are. Now if y'all disagree with me, let me know. I'm, I mean after all I am not Well I'm deal. agreeing with you definitely <laughs> that they are let us know. I, I mean I honestly think it kind of goes both ways. Um Okay, Leah said her brags to his, to her uh, his family about what she does for him. Yeah. Courtney says men brag sometimes. I, yeah, okay. I'm 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 kind of with you, Courtney. I'm kind of with you. Courtney said he's 36. Where uh, did I get 40 from? Somebody told me they were someone 40. Someone else said they were 40. Yeah, somebody from, said they yeah. were 40. Okay, okay, but yeah, like Courtney said, you know, men brag sometimes, but mm -hmm. not like women. You know, I, I don't know why we do it. We, I, I guess, 
it, it might be like the feminine side of us. The excitement, you know, we're, we we as women, we are so uh, like emotional and yeah. touchy feely, and you know, we just love being happy when our man do something for us. Um, we better not ask them to do something around the house, and they don't do it when we want it, when we want them to do it. Then uh -huh. when they do it, oh, we feel like they they the king of the castle. They have oh, built us a house from ground up, <laughs> and we're gonna tell everybody. Girl, let me tell you what my baby did today. I came <laughs> home and he had put that hose on that dryer or that washing machine. And, yada, yada, yada. and we just feel like, you know, we got the key calm. Mm -hmm. But a man, like if a woman go and let's just say get the oil change in the car because he's at work. Uh -huh. yeah, I don't, I, I, will y'all brag about that and tell y'all, you know, y'all boys when y'all hanging out? Mm -hmm. Man, my girl, my baby, my baby, she took the car, got the oil change. I ain't even have to tell her. She know I ain't have time. I ain't even have to tell her. Do do y'all do y'all do that? Oh, we don't love to talk. We we like to brag. We do. I think we do. And the question is, if uh, men do, how Jeff, far do they go? Oh, read what Jeff wrote. Jeff said we don't brag. I won't mind my lady bragging if she spoiled me and out of the, me and out of bed. Okay, not Jeff. Probably why I'm single. I'll be fifty three in April. All right, not Jeff. <laughs> All right, we got uh so pasta. Oh, soups, superstar twenty one twenty one, superstar superstar twenty one twenty one. I definitely do. Okay, what would be some of the things that a man would brag on? I'm just curious. Uh, look what superstar wrote right here, <coughs> right here. Okay, my wife is very low maintenance and doesn't ask for much ever, which makes me want to do all oh, more for her every day. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. That's what you get from me. Absolutely, that is beautiful. Now read this one. Uh, Courtney said me and Brad I mean, sometimes. Right I mean, I'm sorry. Right said mine's Brad says family, which uh, she does for him. So I guess you guys do. That's that's some education for me because I is. was just serious. That was a serious question I had because I I had no idea. It is. And like I said, I know we do, and like, like Lisa was saying, you know, some I do. Of the small things make us cut up and want to put them up yes. on. Oh, my king, my king. Yes, put them on that. a pedestal. Yes. No one, no one dog gonna wear that toilet, new toilet seat should have been on two years ago, but he just did it for Valentine. But he did so. You did that, Daddy. You did that, Diddy. You did that, Zaddy. You did that. You get a special favor tonight. I ain't going to go Jeff already to call me. He going to. I ain't saying nothing. I'm going to be low key for the rest of the night. We just say the things you do for people. <laughs> Hey, hey, if you are new to the Felisa and Deborah podcast, please like, share, and subscribe. I think see it is. See it is. What's this stream about? Oh, this stream is about. Hi, see it. Welcome to the uh, the Infusion podcast show with Felisa and Deborah, where we are here each Wednesday, yes. 6 Central. And this month, we're this is the month of February, we're talking about spoiling our men. You know, mm -hmm. how does it feel to spoil our men? Yeah, honestly, I mean, because the women are always looking for, you know, how they, you know, what they want, you know, what they need from a man. So we kind of flipped it this yeah, time. This you know, is, me and Lisa like to flip. This is all about men this month. Yes, yes. And what are some of the things you have done? You know, your significant other has done to spoil you, make you feel special. Um, and so this is just a continuation of that conversation. We got one more episode in this series, so we appreciate you joining. And we got more comments in the chat. We appreciate the feedback tonight, guys. It is amazing. Tip got something else for you, Lisa. I can't see. Tip said, bragging too much. This is how you lose your man. Don't know when. God, dog. Tip, don't know when to shut up, Lisa. I'm glad I don't tell that tell what he do. <laughs> I'm glad I just say be dead. <laughs> I'm cooking right now for be dead. <laughs> he said, Tip said, you a feminist. <sighs> Jim, you wear at least out of night. Can't we call the truth? <laughs> Can we blow the whistle? <laughs> you wearing <it> out. <laughs> All right. All right. What do we have here? Um, Huntley Golding. Welcome to the podcast. I do believe you are new. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Two African princesses. How are you ladies doing? Thank you. We are Thank doing you. well. We're Thank doing you. great. Thanks for chiming into our podcast. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, somebody's asking us a question. Do we do that? Hmm. Lisa? Deborah? <laughs> I <What>? sent it. <laughs> you sent it. I sent it earlier. What's the most embarrassing thing that happened to you? 
Hmm. Uh, I can't tell mine's so on. I on, left on. out the house without my dentures. All right. What else do we have here? What else do we have here? Hey, you guys, come on and chime in. Yeah, we, got so, we, we got so much feedback, Lord. Yeah, y'all, please charge it to the, We're trying to keep up. We're trying to keep up, y'all. We have so many comments, I promise you. Uh, we're, we're, trying, we're, 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 we're trying to keep up. Uh, what's the next question, baby? We, it is time to switch over to our special guest, and you do the introduction. Oh, well, let me sit back. <clears throat> we need to send her the link. Or... Yes, she said she could not access the link. Give us just a moment of pause as we transition to our special guest. Thank y'all so much for coming in tonight. Line, okay? About spoiling our men right here on DM Future TV, where we are live right here on YouTube each Wednesday at 6 Central, 7 Eastern Time. Thank y'all so much. Police and Deborah, we are here live pulling the fake in the flesh. Thanks to all the comments. We appreciate it. Please, 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 please subscribe, like, share, comment. Please, please subscribe, like, share, comment. We love it. We love all feedback. Thank you so much. We don't wear our feelings on our shoulders. Thank you. God bless. So, coming up right now, right now is our special guest. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. We've been... We've been working on this for a while. So, like I said, we're going to bring something special to you guys. Let me let me gather my thoughts. <clears throat> let me gather my thoughts. All right. Give, let's give, Lisa give, give me a minute. Let me gather my thoughts. Give Lisa a minute. And while we are waiting, um, all right, Superstar 2121, never can brag too much about your significant other. Depends on who you're bragging to and your person they uh when they come at them that is so true but you know what i'm gonna say this uh superstar 2121 i had um a friendship for uh we're gonna accept this no nope. is that jackie mm -hmm. that's jackie calling tell her you were about to text her the link okay. that's your phone those are your phones all right give us just a minute guys thank you um uh, but uh this was to um to a uh, superstar, two hundred twenty-one. You know what? I had a friendship. I was friends with someone six, since six, the two. fourth grade. I mean, yeah. I looked at this person as my yeah. sister, yeah. and of course, six, you know, when you start, when you're growing up together, and you're, you're starting to six, date six, or whatever, six, you're going to share things that you wouldn't share with anyone with your best friend. Six, and six, at the end, um, she wasn't who I thought she was. She was. She was. She she betrayed my friendship. Betrayed my trust. And to be honest, I honestly don't think I've ever truly rebounded from that to where I've allowed another person to get that close to where I just divulge um, a lot of personal information. Um, so, yeah, um, a lot of it, personal but it does. It, um, I would like so to yeah. say, you know, I agree with you. It depends on the person. But it's like, it's just who you trust, really. If you can't trust someone you grew up with since the fourth grade, who the heck can you trust? So I'm kind of guarded that way. So, uh, but I do have some amazing ladies who have came into my life. Um, you know, throughout the years, Miss Burks is one of them that's on here. Elaine Allen, love both of those ladies to death. Um, and you know, our friendship has, has been tried and true uh, throughout the years. But um, yeah, you know, life is tricky that way. Tell our tits ahead. Okay, can you put it on? We thank you guys for okay. your patience. We're about to uh, bring our special guest on. So, yeah, yeah, we're still checking the chat. So, you know, drop your messages, drop your comments. <coughs> um, all right, we are. All right, Lisa's going to do the introduction. I'm going to be quiet. No, don't be quiet. <laughs> you got this, girl. You got this. Did I sit the camera back right, Marcus? I'll take care. Okay, y'all. Right here, camera number two. No, three. Two. So, y'all, we are live right here. Like I said, DM Fusion TV. I am Felicia Janae with my girl, Deborah, and we are here. Um, This is where the show, our special guest is getting ready to come in. This is where I put on my serious face. You just saw my poker face. So I took off one hat and putting on another because this part of our show it's very sentimental to me. It's coming from my first cousin, Jackie Fuqua. And what I want to share with you all is she is a uh, dialysis patient. I talked about her a few months back, and but I did the talking. So tonight she is on live. 
and she's going to talk. You know, we're looking at her. She's looking at us. And we just want to put this, add this to the show because Deborah and I are here together. So we want to do this together with you all, with Jackie Live, because a lot of people are going through things and you never know who is going through what. People are going through cancer. People are going through dialysis treatment. People are going through like being in the hospital with their heart, kidneys, different types of surgeries. People are going through some of everything. You got a lot of people laying up in hospitals, nursing homes and stuff, sick, can't turn themselves over, don't even know they're in this world. They're dealing and wrestling with all different types of illness. So what I'm saying, I said all that to say this, what I'm saying right now, my cousin Jackie, is a living testimony. She's been fighting and dealing and she's been dragging this thing, this beast, but she got it by the neck, the chokehold. And she, when I say she got this thing and I'm going to bring Jackie in now, we're going to allow Jackie to come in and let y'all know that you can have whatever, just don't give up on life. You can have cancer. Just don't give up on life. Jackie, has kidney problems and she takes dialysis seven days a week 12 hours a night um at her home and i want my cousin to tell you guys to be an inspiration to somebody else you've heard us cut up now this is the special this is our special guest the special part of the show we wanted to bring to you all tonight so hey jackie hey, jackie. hey can y'all hear me yeah we can hear you baby all can right. you can you hear us jackie Yes, I hear you. Okay. Well, Come first of all, I'm, I'm gonna let you get yourself. I'm gonna let you get yourself together. Thank you. Well, first of all, I would like to say thank you, D Infusion, for Lisa, and I'm gonna have to say Sally, uh, for inviting me to this show. It yes, is. It is so emotional because Lisa, she always talking about the good that I do and how I'm doing it, and I would like to share you know, my story with you guys. Awesome. Awesome. We're here for, we're here for it, Jack. <clears throat> well, first of all, I was diagnosed in 2014 with polycystic kidney disease. Okay. And uh, over a period of time, my kidneys start failing and your kidneys have to be a certain level to function. And I believe that function is at least 15%. And mine was at a high level one time, but it kept, you know, deteriorating. And it finally got down to 11, and it was due to my high uh, blood pressure. So in 2021, I ended up having to do dialysis. And it's like more than one kind of di dialysis. They have a home PD that you can do it from home. Mm -hmm. And they have another one, hem hem hemodialysis, which I'm glad I didn't have to do that because you would have to go to the center and hook up there like three to five times a week. And versus the one that I'm doing, I hook up at home every night. I still live life. I'm full of life. I do whatever I want to do. And I just thank God for allowing me to do it the way that I am doing it. Because that, that's working for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if you did not know me, you would not know that I was doing dialysis, period, to be honest. You would and you, you really would not know. If I didn't tell you, you would not know that because I do whatever I want to do. And I was, I worked, I guess, about two years while I was on dialysis. I got up every morning, unhooked, went to an eight hour job. Mm -hmm. And after a while, it didn't get too stressful or anything, but I just chose to come off work to have some life while I was still living to be able to do what I want to do. It versus me getting sick and I couldn't do anything else. So God allowed me to be able to do that. And I've been doing dialysis now for like three years and it working for me. That's beautiful. Amen. That's beautiful. Jackie, if you don't mind, because you know, the word is, is, is just heavily plagued uh, these days with different sicknesses and diseases. And I know, um, you know, from, from my past, uh, you know, having a parent, a mom that suffered from cancer and actually died from it. How did it affect you mentally? What were some of your struggles and what helped get you to the point to where you are today? Because you have a beautiful story. Well, first of all, when I found out that I was diagnosed with um, my, di my K, my PD, my PK, I'm sorry, my PKD, polycystic kidney disease. And I, as I went to the doctor, like every three months, then he narrowed it down to like once a month. And when he did that, I knew it was kind of serious. And when he told me that I was going to have to get on dialysis, 
And at first I was like, are you serious? I said, is there anything else that you can do? You know, and he was like, no, your kidneys keep failing, but we're going to keep a check on it. And, you know, just to watch and see. And sure enough, my doctor did that, but my level just steady went down. And at first I was kind of, um, oh my, I was so, I was hurt, first of all, because i never been sick, never had surgery, never been in a hospital, period. I'm 55 years old and never been sick. And when he told me that, it just, it did something to me, but. I have a very strong support system, which is my husband. I have stepkids. I have a daughter. And all assured me that they would be there for me, my family, my friends, and all of my loved ones. And they helped me get through it and, and the grace of, by the grace of God. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Lisa. So like, like uh, to piggyback off what Deborah said, Deborah part two question, Jackie. Um, what it like what helped you get through it um i'm gonna add to some of that okay yes because i want we want the people to know <clears throat> because comments are coming in like crazy here um uh see this this was supposed to happen because we don't know these people that's watching us and we're reading comments that uh some of a mother has is, is on dialysis mm -hmm. some uh, 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 Deborah, uh huh. A superstar, superstar. Mm -hmm. My cousin was on it for seven days a week at home. Um, uh, my mom mm -hmm. is on dialysis three times a week. We got the comments are coming mm -hmm. in, and people are speaking to you all over. So I'm just gonna tell y'all, Jackie says hi, but Jackie, I'm gonna add what uh, what, what Deborah said. You like to go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> she's yes, a country girl y'all okay yes, yes. she likes to go fishing and when she had her baby precious precious was a baby baby probably oh. in, the, in the car seat in a basket be sitting out there on that pool bank with jack <laughs> yes ma'am and precious grew up on side the pool bank right along with her mom out there fishing uh jackie had a, a weak moment when she uh, first started going through all of this. And, mm -hmm. and I think it's okay for me to share. And um, I was at her house. Um, my mom and I was at her house. And long story short of that, we're not going to go into the full detail, but we talked to Jackie. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an, I'm an, I am an, uh, an aggressive person. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am very aggressive when it comes to certain things. Because my mother went through cancer. When she found out she was stage three, she had to put two masks in one sack. And when she found out she was stage three, she had her uh, whatever thing, mammogram down that February and that August. We found out my mom was stage three breast cancer with two masks in one sack. And I wouldn't let my mama give up. So with Jackie, because Jackie is telling her story tonight, she's telling her story. I got in Jackie, but y'all, y'all know I cuss, but I went there with Jackie because like I told her, you got to fight to live. And here we are. What, Jackie? Two years later? When actually it's like going on three years to be it going almost on three, three years, years later. Yes, she is. She Jackie. Jackie doing better than me. You know, she just hooked up to a machine at night. She's hooked up now because she has said, um she couldn't come on at six. Yeah. Yes. You know, to be around seven because she has to hook up. She sleeps on it. You sleep on about what? Ten, twelve hours a night. Nine hours. Nine hours a night, and she's doing it from home. Wow. But we, her family intervened. We got on to Jackie. We had to let Jackie know that we love her. And even though she's the patient and the one that's going through this, but let me tell y'all something. This type of stuff affects the whole family. It affects everybody. Mm -hmm. Cancer, diabetes, uh, this uh, kidney stuff, it affects everybody. And what mm -hmm. I told Jackie, you got to live because Precious and Ken needs you. Can't nobody fuss and cuss at them like you. Can't nobody do <laughs> for them and clean up for them like you. You need to, you better go and, and talk to God or talk to somebody because you need to stay around here a little while. The universe or the rock or something, you need to stay around here a little while longer. So Jackie was already into church, but she got deeper and anchor and rooted in, in the word. And then the next thing I know, I saw on uh, social media, she started going to uh, concerts. She, she had to be home at a certain time. Mm -hmm. She did her first birthday party. I surprised and came down there, and she didn't know I was coming, and we danced all night. But that's Jackie. Jackie, before this, 
Jackie had a life. Jackie was the, the, the person. Jackie was me. She was the party starter. She was going to be the last one to leave. Uh -huh. Never complain. Always ready to fight. Jump on somebody's butt. That was that's Jackie. She's still like that. But <laughs> when we told her, you have to fight to live. Talk to God. Talk to whoever. Because we need you here. We're losing our people so quick. Mm -hmm. We need you. And here we are almost three years later. And she is here on the Infusion on our show tonight, live, full of the telling us her story. And it's a beautiful <laughs> story. And the people here are loving it, Jackie. We love yeah. you. And thank you so much for coming on here and sharing your story. I love you, cousin. I love yeah, you, girl. Beautiful. Thank y'all for having me. And if anybody want to reach out to me, you can give my number. I'll be glad to talk to them at any time. Just let them know, you know, what to expect. If they think and they have to go on dialysis or something, I can tell them what best, you know, not what best for them, but give them some options, you know. And, and I think, go ahead, baby. No, go ahead. Now, I was just going to say just thank you guys so much for having me on your show. Oh, thank you. No, thank you for your tears, joining us. Your tears are beautiful, baby. Your <laughs> tears are just a release. You know it's so emotional. <laughs> And I'm very, is, huh? I just say you know I'm very emotional. Uh, but it's, it's, happy, it's, very happy, it's happy. It's very happy. It's very happy emotional. Yes, you know, it, it's definitely that. It's a happiness. Thank you so much, Jackie. We appreciate you. We love I love you. you, baby. I love you. And love you back. Family. I can't do my heart. I only got one hand. <laughs> Let me see. How you That's all right. We love you. Okay. We love I you. Got we it. love you. I and to answer it. Jackie, Miss Burns said, I had stage two breast cancer. I'm four years and four months cancer free. Cannot wait to cannot wait for the doctor to officially say uh, in October, I am in remission. Wow. Way to go, Miss Burns. Way to go. <laughs> I love you, Jackie. You got this, girl. I'm coming to see you soon. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bye, Sally. Bye, 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 Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> All Facebook right. Live, thank y'all so much for chiming in. That was a beautiful yeah. story. What a way to end our show. And Deborah, thank you so much for coming. Oh my gosh. We've only <laughs> been doing this for a couple of months and here we are. I know. And it's we beautiful. appreciate all, I love it. We appreciate all the comments, all the feedback, positive and negative. Thank y'all so much. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, share, uh, com uh, comment. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Courtney, to everybody on here. Oh my God. Look at, look at these comments. Oh my God. Oh my God. We see y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Max says, Mac Bell says, my sister is a health coach here on YouTube as well. Thank you so much, Mac. Oh, Thank my goodness. Oh, you. my goodness. Oh, drop my God. Her, drop her handle. Thank you. Her I'm, I'm going to tell Jackie about that. I'm going to I'm going to mention um, this to Jackie. And if everybody that's on here that's watched this part of the show, um, make sure that you reach out to Mac Bell's sister. Mac, can you put something down there so people can, you know, can can um you know reach out to your sister thank you so much and jackie thank you again cousin for sharing your beautiful story i know we can go on and on and on but hey people got the gist of it and the comments are here everybody is speaking thank you guys so much to everybody come on there, right here. to everyone who is going through something any type of sickness or illness mm -hmm. um anything that's 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 dealing with the body to cause your body to be a little conflicted or conflicted i just want to say Keep your head up. Continually to pray. We love you. God loves you. And listen, we are all we got. We are here. DM Fusion TV, Felicia, Janae, and Deborah. We love you guys. Thank you so, Thank you so much. So, so very much. And we hope her story helps someone else. Thank you. God bless. Till next Wednesday. See you next Tuesday. On Felicia, Janae, talk to them next Yay. Wednesday. Right back here at DM Fusion Live. But Deborah won't be beside me. <laughs> it's all good. We love you guys. Thank you. Good night.